this Amish buggy that I found here in Pinecraft. I had to stop in and check it out. Like this is the legit real deal right here. This is an Amish top put on this golf cart. We're gonna get the owner out here and uh, he's gonna tell us all about it of uh, how much money he invested in this and he's gonna show us the inside. So come, let's check it out. Okay, so. How did you come up with this idea of putting this buggy top on this golf cart? So originally, I was diagnosed with asthma quite a few years ago, and I'm allergic to horses. That's the main thing. So I can't breathe the best home around horses. And I've been in the hospital quite a few times. So I was like, I need to find an alternative to getting around in my community. And so I came up with the idea of a golf cart, and I had this golf cart with a different top on it, but. It wasn't the best. It was cold, the wind still came in. And so I was like, I'd really like to do this, put it an actual buggy top on it. And so I checked around, got measurements from different styles of buggies. And then I got this measurements and they were absolutely perfect. It's a three quarter inch longer than the actual frame and the exact same width, so it worked great. And yeah, it just that's just kind of what it formed like. And when I got it back, it was, it was just done perfect. I sent it to a buggy shop. Gotcha. Just, it's amazing. So you're part of the Amish community here in yes, Sarasota. I am. And like, what kind of Amish are they? Like new order, uh, old order, or I don't something think, in between maybe? I don't think we really consider ourselves new order or old order. And probably the main thing is so that old order can go to our church or whoever. If not, we won't tell anybody they can't come. And so yeah, mostly we're just kind of not really new order or old order, I believe. It's just kind of a in between. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. Alright, show us the inside. Let's see how this thing. 